Hello everyone, welcome to this short video illustrating the newly released interoperability feature between Leapfrog Works and Plexus 2D facilitated by Centro. My name is Shudur Roy. I work as a customer solution specialist in Sequent. Before we find out how the product looks like, let me explain what has Plexus been used for all these years. For the past three decades, Plexus has been used by geotechnical engineers as a finite element analysis software suite. It is intended to capture two-dimensional and three-dimensional scenarios and analyze stress, deformation, and stability in geotechnical engineering and rock mechanics. Complex analysis for excavations, foundations, tunnels, and other infrastructure projects can be effectively addressed in this software. Furthermore, Plexus can adequately simulate complex loading histories, dynamic analysis, and liquefaction. In this video, we will only look at Plexus 2D. Let us understand what Central does and why is it integral to have a seamless connection between geological modeling and geotechnical analysis. Central is our cloud-hosted data storage and model management platform. It has a direct connection to LeapFrog Works. It has been mainly used for sharing, tracking, and collaborating on models. Its auditable and version tracking capabilities allows a user to gain insights into what changes were made, when, and why. It collates all the data in one location and allows for highly collaborative workflows. It is convenient for all stakeholders to see what stage a project is at, provide feedback to enable confident decisions faster, reduce risk, and simultaneously ensure the security of the project. Having briefly understood what is Plexus and Central, let us look how all the products combine in achieving a robust connected workflow. The importance of what am I about to show you can be visualized. Synthesis of a geological model can be achieved with LeapFrog Works. To carry out subsequent geotechnical analysis, the most critical areas from the model will be identified and passed on. The geotechnical response will be encapsulated in the numerical analysis results of Plexus. Finally, depending on the results, a peer review will be done, enabling a collective decision making on the technical feasibility of the project. If there is an interdisciplinary agreement on the results, then we have completed the interdependency path. Otherwise, we proceed towards an iterative approach. Depending on the project, refinement can, may be modifying the material properties or boundary conditions of the geotechnical model, or it may be modifying the geological modeling approach. Now we are in the user interface of LeapFrog Works, the first step of our connected workflow. Here we have created a 3D geological model of a tailing storage facility, which I'm going to bring it into the scene. As you can see that we have created a comprehensive geological model of a tailing storage facility with it, the tailing spawn and the associated geology surrounding it. What we will do right now is to carry out our subsequent geotechnical analysis. This will be the most critical region where we have the core material and the tailing spawn. We will be capturing this through some cross sections and that also we have prepared these are the cross sections that we created from the geological model. Creating cross sections in LeapFrog is straightforward and there are multiple ways of doing it. Now these cross sections will be published into the cloud and for that we need central. As you can see that at the top right corner there is the central icon with the green band at the bottom which means that it is connected to a server. We are connected to a server here and since this project was entirely created in central from the beginning and this tells us of its version tracking who created it what date it was created what branch it is in so that is why we can publish this cross section simply by clicking on the central icon hitting publish and then we can see that it is readying itself to publish these cross sections we are now in the user interface of plexus 2d which is the third step of our connected workflow where we will be bringing in the cross sections that we published from leapfrog works into central and for that we will be going into the import soil option and then select import soil from central and it will give us this central window which will tie us to the central server, the project and the branch and the event that is our publishing event. And we can see that it has captured this TSF structure and we can choose one of the cross sections that we created out of the three cross sections. Then we press OK and we will see 
that Plaxus has not only been able to retain the geometry of the sections created in Midfrog, it has also uh, able to uh, retain the color and we will also see that it has also retained the material names. So you can see that there is this import log where you can further investigate your uh, cross sections and if we press OK, you can see that we get the cross section that we created in Midfrogworks. And if I go into the materials, you can see that all the materials have been defined in Plexus, but they have not been yet given an appropriate constitutive model. To carry out geotechnical analysis, Plexus gives a host of options for the appropriate constitutive model in order to capture the material behavior of the soil or the rock that you're trying to model. And it also gives the drainage properties and you would have to define the strength, stiffness, and also permeabilities if necessary for your soil. Having defined appropriate constitutive models for the materials, we have also done some geometric edits in order to facilitate a smooth finite element analysis. We then go on to define our mesh generation, which is essential for infinite finite element analysis. And then we also define our flow conditions where we define the phreatic surface of the model. And then as for the final analysis, we have reconstructed the construction sequence of the tailing storage facility and we have conducted a timed consolidation analysis where we would like to capture the displacements and the dissipation of the pore water pressure due to the construction of the tailing storage facility, which includes the core material and the tailing spawned. And as for the output, we are mainly interested in the deformation contours in the model at the end of the final stage of the amendment construction and also the excess pore water pressure. There are various kinds of analysis that can be done in Plaxus, which includes plastic deformations, soil structure interaction analysis, where we can capture foundations, retaining walls, deep excavations, and many other examples. Here we are looking at the Plaxus 2D results in LeapFrog works, which have been brought into LeapFrog with this feature called the new cross sections from image and then georeference to the original location of the cross section. And as you can see, we can now visualize our Plexus 2D results against our geological model, enabling a collective decision making process across multiple disciplines. So here, uh, engineers and geologists from various disciplines can agree whether this project is technically feasible or whether it requires some tweaks to the profile or the cutting or the infrastructure. So all of this can be done here in LeapFrog Works. After evaluating the Plaxus results against the geological model, if we agree that the tech project is technically feasible, then as I started, we have completed the connected workflow. But if it requires further refinements, then we go for this iterative workflow. And we also have taken care of that. In this example, Instead of going for a detailed modification of the geotechnical properties of the geological modeling approach, we are simply going to change the color of the landfill material here, like this, from black to a more prominent color of purple. And as we change that, this will also be reflected in the cross sections. And we will be publishing these cross sections through Central, and we will see how these changes are reflected and incorporated in Plexus. The only change that we incorporated in the geological model within the frog works was the change of the color of the landfill material from black to purple. Now we can see that there has been a clock symbol appearing at the central symbol within Plexus, which means that the cross section that we are working with is not the latest one, from the geological model version and we have the option to update the cross section within Plexus. But it must be said that the choice always lies with the user whether they want to change it or not. We will be changing it here so we can see that uh, this clock symbol appears everywhere and we hit this check for changes to see what is the actual change. There comes up this option of update materials from central which means that Plexus has identified there has been a change. Now there is the option of working with the current cross section and there is also the option of updating the material. We go with updating the materials from central. As we press that you can see that the color changes to purple and this is how the combined functionalities of all the software is helping us achieve a robust connected workflow between geological modeling and geotechnical analysis. Thank you so much.